of the resurrection Michael the chief of the heaven also Lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins <laughs> Angelos nemni tagmaine puranione be choi sane mutnan miko evon inten nove through the prayers of my lords and fathers the apostles and the Rest of the disciples, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. He ten shiente pitore, Mosene fangelestis, Marcos pi apostolos, Ebe. Joy, son, emot, non, emiko, evon, in, ten, in, nove. Through the prayers of the righteous, perfect man, Joseph, and Nicodemus, and Saint Mary Magdalene, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Prayers of the brides of Christ, Saint Bar. Vera, Juliana, Demiana, and Mary, and O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. He ten him, she in ten in your teeth, O Abbot, for today are the she's of Athanasius, be apostolicus, nemava kirelos, pestelos in tepina, tinem dios coros em chimsen, ti orthodoxia, ava kirelos, be maso em, choice anemot, nan miko, evon in ten and nove. Through the prayers of the saints of this day, each one 
according to his name. Oh Lord, grant us the so <laughs> Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. Chapter from Epistle of our teacher, St. Paul, to the Ephesians. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. But you have not so learned Christ, if indeed, you have not, if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in righteousness and true holiness. Therefore, putting away lying, each one speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. But let him who stole, let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, for what is good for necess- but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, but by whom you by whom you are sealed for, for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you, with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God in Christ also forgave you. Grace of God the Father be with all of you. Amen. The Catholic epistle from the first epistle of our teacher, St. John, his blessing be upon us. Amen. My beloved, brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light, and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world and the love of the Father is not in him, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Do not love the world nor the things which are in the world. The world shall pass away in all its desires, but he who does the will of God shall abide forever. Amen.
of our pure fathers, the apostles, their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Now while Paul waited from them at Athens, his spirit was provoked within him when he saw that the city was given over to idols. Therefore he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and with the Gentile worshipers and in the marketplace daily with those who happened to be there. <coughs> then certain Epicurean and Stoic philosophers encountered him and some said, what does this babbler want to say? Others said he seems to be a proclaimer of foreign gods because he preached to them Jesus and the resurrection. And they took him and brought to him the Arpagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine is of you which you speak, for you are bringing some str strange things to our ears. Therefore, we want, we want to know what these things mean, for all Athenians and foreigners who were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new things. Then Paul stood in the midst of the Areopagus and, and said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are very religious. For as I was passing through and considering the objects of your worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God. <clears throat> Therefore the one whom you worship without knowing him I proclaim to you, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything, since he gives to all life, breath, and all things. And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on, on all the face of the earth, and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they may grope for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of you, your own poets, have said. For we are also his offspring. Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, something shaped by heart and man's devising. Truly, these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, while others said, we will hear you again on this matter. So Paul departed from among them. However, some men joined him and believed among them Dionysus, the Areopagite, a woman named Demarius, and others with them. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the holy church of God. Amen. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, 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 oh,
Master and Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels. Through the prayers of your sake. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our Master. Those who have asked us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God, those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them, for you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Salmos to the bin and Choice can a horse in bed. Any Jeff in in on a bio, we avoid in his vini in Jim Choice. Ashley, no, we have one name of choice and call him Tiff. Also, what any lot of sunny and no, yeah, and no, yeah, he saws. Becker is so sepulro and tepo. Of Ton Pevon Kenneth Mount Ken P. Eho and Marshall Tanel. Cosmento agio evangelio. Ev smara utin je vesni khun evranim shu sentini gum kiriyev logi sunuk tu kato yo anin agio evangelio tu anag nusma. Musasi kere yam Stand with the fear of God that we may be worthy to hear a holy gospel, a reading according to the holy gospel, according to our teacher, St. John. May his holy blessing be with us all. <coughs> Psalms of our teacher David, the prophet and king, may his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Sing to the Lord a new song, for the Lord has wrought wonderful works. Shout to God all the earth, sing and exalt and sing songs. comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord God, Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. Now when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Then Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the prints of the nails and put into and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hands into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came in the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, reach your finger here and look at my hands and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Glory be to God for and 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 ever. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the first Sunday after the resurrection of Christ, and today actually we have a great blessings because we celebrate the apparition of the Lord to Thomas. He appeared twice, as we heard in the gospel. Once Thomas was not there, and once Thomas was there. It's very pleasing to us to celebrate also that Abuna Pisinti from Vancouver, Canada, is with us today. And by the way, the word Piesinti means in Coptic, the foundation, al-assas. We have to look for our foundation and start building on it, building on it, building on it until we reach heaven after we leave the resurrection, the earth itself. Abuna Pisenti, I know him for many, many years. And I always found him very pleasing to God and very fortunate to have God in his life. We learn from him. And I'm sure his presence with us today is a very acceptable gift from God. May God bless his services. Bless all your services and bless us all. And let us hear the words of God from him in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen.
In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the God, I mean, glory be to God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, I mean. Thank you, Atsabuna, for the words I don't deserve, actually, and uh, I have to say that if the, the word Bicenti means foundation, so the word Mikhail means the might of God. <laughs> so actually, uh, he is the foundation, not me. Uh, as we celebrate the re resurrection of the Lord, for how long? For how long? 50, 50 days, okay. What about if we come to the to the church every Sunday, do we celebrate still the resurrection of the Lord? Huh? Yes, Sunday is the day of the resurrection, the first day of the week, Sunday. So it is the day of the Lord, the day of his rest, the day traditionally moved the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday, huh? because this is the day of the real comfort of the Lord Jesus Christ when he accomplished, he perfected his mission with us through the resurrection. Is that right? Okay. So what about if we come to the church to celebrate the Eucharist any day of the week? If we come and celebrate the Eucharist on Friday, Wednesday, Monday, any day, what do you think of that? Eh? It is again the day of the Lord. Because every time you eat from this bread and drink this cup, you preach my death and confess or proclaim my resurrection. It is resurrection. Resurrection. Why? Because again, it is the day of the Lord. And with the Eucharist, we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord because it is a living, life-giving body. Yeah, it is not just, uh, God forbid, the dead body. It is the body of Christ, life-giving body. Jesed al-muhyi. Muhyi. In Samil muhyi. Life-giving body. So it is the resurrection. And actually, I can say that they are connected together. To break the bread and the two feel or to, I can say, uh, realize. Yes, this is the word I'm looking for. To break the bread and to realize that this is the life-giving body of Christ. This is the resurrection of the Lord. Each time you eat and you drink, you proclaim my resurrection. And when he met with the Two disciples of Amos, when he appeared to them in their way to Amos, their nearby village or nearby little town, he was speaking with them about things regarding the kingdom of God. And they say, they claimed that after that, that they felt their heart inflaming, yearning inside themselves. But still, their eyes were closed. Can't understand, can't recognize his divine person. He is the Lord. And it is only when he broke the bread eh, at that very moment, they could discover his divine nature. He is the resurrected Lord. They could see his resurrection and the broken bread and, huh, who can tell me, and in his wounds. Huh? He covered, uncovered, I say. He uncovered the wounds and he showed them the body which is broken and the wounds, the prints of the wounds in his 
and his wrists on his hands. And by the way, when Abuna, during the liturgy, during the Eucharist, when he breaks the bread, the church calls the pieces after it is broken, they are separated eh, from each other by the wounds of Christ. They are the wounds of Christ. I carry the wounded body. It is life-giving body, and at the same time, it is wounded body. And Abuna took the middle part of the urbana, which we call, huh, many only. أنا عارف إن أنا في وسط ناس يعني إكليريكية، عارف كنيستكم دي إكليريكية من أيام أبونا الله ينايح روحه أبونا بشوي، ها؟ إت إز كولد ذي ذي وات؟ جوال جوال جوهرة؟ أوكي، بس ذا ميدل بارت هاز سبيشال نيم سباديكون ذا سباديكون أور ذا ديسبوتا إن كوبتيك أند إت مينز the Lord, the Sayyid, the Sayyid himself. Because the Urbana, which is a circle, no start, no end, Omega and Alpha and Omega, eternity of the Lord. And then the middle, we stamp it, stamp the Urbana with the stamp, with the seal. And with that seal, I can see 13 crosses. The middle one of them, the represents Christ and the other 12 surrounding him are the disciples so Abuna I, I can go let me go to the point Abuna takes the middle part and he soaks it with the blood and then he you know start to touch the urbana the wounds with the blood so I can see this is the ritual, and it has a meaning. I spiritualize the ritual. And to be honest with you, if there is no meaning for each movement in the rituals of our church, it will be too boring. Eh? What they do? Eh? What they do in the church? It's too much. Eh? No. When we spiritualize our movements and our rituals in the church, it has a beautiful meaning. And actually, this is the role of the church to to explain that. So they are the wounds of the Lord, oozing blood, oozing blood. They are the wounds of the Lord. And let me assure you, absolute 100%, that the wounds of Christ are the only wounds which will never heal. They will keep open until we see him in heaven. He was erected there, standing there, as a slaughtered lamb. خروف قائم كأنه دول بيعمدوا بيزغرتوا عبال عندكوا مش بيع مش بيزغرتوا الوعظة لا هي صادفة بس. So he will be. We are going to see him standing as a lamb. And that lamb is wounded and is, is wounded. Uh, you know, in the, in the book of, uh, of the Song of Songs, according to Solomon, he described the bride, the bride of the Song of Songs, and in chapter 5, and he says, she says, actually, she, she speaks of, of herself, and she says, I was, I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Yeah? But, quoting, but my heart was awake. I was sleeping. But this is not my norm. This is not, not my normal. This is the exception. I'm a good person. I'm a good Christian. I love the Lord. But sometimes I feel lazy. Sometimes I feel tempted. Sometimes I, I am driven away a little bit from my spiritual life. It happens with us. Sometimes we feel we are lukewarm. We are not as hot as before. Eh? The warmness of the heart is absent. And I am lukewarm. 
And I was sleeping, she says, but my heart is still happy from inside. And the voice of my groom was there knocking the door, open for me, open my sister, open my love, open my love, open my perfect, ya kamilati, ya hamamati, ya ukhti, al arus. The Lord actually is addressing our human soul. He's a church. He's a church to him is the beloved one, the perfect one. Still, he calls us the perfect. I'm lazy. I'm driven away. I'm tempted. I'm a sinner even. But still, he is calling us the perfect one. ليس فيك عيبة. Blemish. Without blemish. Perfect one. Open for me. And there are the excuses. Always we have excuses. Always we have excuses. It was a busy, you know, week. And in the weekend, this is the only day I can have little much of a sleep. Yeah? We do that. Uh, she said the same. I take, I already have taken off my clothes. How come I can put them again? Yeah? I washed my feet. I don't want to defile my feet. I have excuse. And the Lord starts to listen to this. He put his hand through the latch of the door. He put his hand through the latch of the door. And only when she saw the hand of the Lord, she says, my heart was yearning. Why? Can you answer me back? Can you answer me and say, tell me why her heart started to yearn inside? Yeah? Because of? Because of? Because of the one. So actually, the ones are the solution. The ones of the Lord are the solution. It is a reminder. It is a reminder. And unless we partake that experience with him, unless we feel the wounds of the Lord, it is a reminder. We will be driven away. And the Lord, sometimes, my beloved, sometimes, and I can say in many times, he provokes us. He, you know, make the reasons for us to come back to him through the wounds, the touching of the wounds, the temptations, with something I feel I am burdened with. Isn't it he who asked us to carry his cross and to follow him? Unless you carry your cross, and we wonder what kind of cross. Each one of us has his own cross or her own cross. We have crosses. If we consider this as a blessing from the Lord and a reminder from the Lord, and I could see the wounds of the Lord in that very special cross of mine, you know, أشكر ربنا إنه بيدينا الصلبان الصغيرة دي علشان من خلالها بنفوق لروحنا بنفهم نفسنا. ولا إيه رأيكم؟ You know, my beloved, we celebrate today a feast within a feast. It is Thomas Sunday which is a celebration within another celebration, the Pentecostal day, the 50 days. And the church, you know, remarked this as a feast, and we celebrated as a feast. And St. Thomas became famous from that day as the, the doubter. We label him as the doubter. What about St. Peter? He is the naker, denial one. واحد naker. واحد شكاك واحد خاين ايه مش كده وحتى اللي بقوا يدسين فيهم لسه لازقه فيهم توما شاك لازق فيه ان هو الايه الشكاك ورحاب اللي المسيح جه من نسلها يقولوا عليها الكلمه الوحشه هي دي ليه بس يا ربي بس sometimes my beloved we with our evil eye we look to the people and we mark them, we label them, and we forget that they are nice people and they have many good aspects in their personality. 
I tell you. Do you know that St. Thomas is the only one at that time when the Lord Jesus Christ was with his disciples away from Bethany when the news came to him that Lazarus is dead and the Lord offered to go back to Judea for his miracles. Eh? And the disciples were very scared that there is a plot there and the Lord is about to be killed. Only St. Thomas, he raised his voice loudly out of courage, out of love, and he said, let me go with you, my Lord, and to die with you. مش هو ده سنت توماس؟ نسينا له الحكاية الحلوة دي؟ We forgot about that wonderful proclamation, that wonderful testimony, that wonderful حاجة حلوة يعني. سنت بيتر is the same. سنت بيتر he said I am ready to go wherever with you and I am ready to die not even with you instead of you. أموت عنك. سواء ما عملش كده يعني لكن في وقت من الاوقات قلبه حلو. مش انا بقول لكم ها؟ انا لسه قايل لكم دلوقتي. I just said, I just mentioned that the pride she had, you know, beautiful heart. You have a beautiful heart. Yeah? All of you, not me. All of you. You have beautiful hearts. But sometimes you are tempted. Sometimes you are lazy. Sometimes you are sinners. But still God is looking at you as perfect ones. Wonderful one. Be of good courage. And the ones of the Lord, we have great source of comfort, great source of peace. Don't disregard the ones in your life. Don't disregard the ones of the Lord in your special private life. كل واحد له جرحه ولا لا؟ كل واحد له جرحه. في واحد عنده بعد الشر عن الكل يعني لكن اهو اديني بقول واحد عنده جرح في ابنه، جرح في بنته، جرح في مراته، جرح في ابوه، جرح في الكنيسه. يعني انا مش مكسوف اقول حتى في الكنيسه، مجروح مني، ممكن تتجرح مني وانا مش بني ادم. ابونا مزعلك، انا مزعلك. كلنا لنا جروحنا. يعني الاسقف بتاعي اي حاجه. انا نفسي اكون صليب لغيري. يعني كلنا عندنا جروح، مرض، تجربه، شغل، اي حاجه. عندنا تجارب. لو خدناها من ايد ربنا وبصينا لشخص الالهي وشفنا فيها القيامه what a great discovery and what a great source of peace and the comfort ربنا يدينا كلنا may the lord our god grant us all his peace and consider us consider consider us with him as partakers in his resurrection glory be to God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Come to me, Thomas the Chosen, to see me and know me. Um, I am Jesus Christ, I rose from the dead Thomas the apostle placed his hands in his side and cried out my Savior you are my Lord and my God, I believe without doubt in your true resurrection. Purify us with the sign of the nails which Thomas saw then believed Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Jesus Christ, the King of glory, 
has risen from the dead. This is he who is worthy of glory. With his good father and, and the Holy Spirit, both now and for ever, Jephthah, Marot, and Jephthah, Nemem, Shirinem, Pip, Nemem, Oem, Titere, Yes, Ejike, Von, Ten, Osh, Demos, Ten, Ti, Ones. In the wisdom of God, let us attend. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, truly.